The key thing in Formula One, as in any other competition in fact, is to, to keep being self-critical, looking for the areas where you are weak and trying to improve those. So, you know, our objective is excellence in all areas. And, uh, you know, whilst we had some fantastic results in 2015, um, there are many areas that can be much better. And uh, that's the kind of culture we try and instill throughout the whole organisation, you know, that constantly uh, trying to reach for something better. Well, it's difficult to have a complete revolution when the rules have stayed the same from year to year. Um, but actually, wherever we can, we're trying to make minor revolutions. So even within, within a small context, we may have a, a complete change in a packaging idea or a complete change in a, in a suspension concept, for instance. So whilst the car uh, may look quite similar to the outside and, and that's inherent in, in staying within the same regulations, actually underneath it there are lots of mini revolutions that make up this, this overall evolution for the new season. It's very tough to find performance within a stable regulation set. We were particularly pleased to see how we came out in 2015 um, where we had the same situation that uh, the team did a fantastic job. They, they dug very deep and found all sorts of innovations in areas that you might have considered already stable and static. Um, and the same goes this year. You know, it's another carryover year from a regulation point of view. Um, and that, that's a real challenge and in fact that's, that's what tests the team to the most. Um, it's actually very um, much more exciting potentially and, and very much easier to find performance when you have a new set of rules. But when you have the same rules you really have to, to push hard and, and that's what this team have been very good at. The biggest structural change was on the chassis where we've raised the, the protection around the driver by 20 millimetres um, and more significantly we've increased the, the side test load from 15 to 50 kilonewtons. So a very substantial increase in the load that has to be taken by the chassis at that point. So the amount of testing pre-season has reduced progressively over the years and now we reach a, a new minimum, let's say, of to two lots of four days, so a total of eight days. Um, that's something the team have been preparing for over those years and, and producing better and better designs, better preparation, better testing in the lab so that we're, we're more able to hit the ground running when we go testing. The new thing with this year is that not only are there only two tests, but they're, they're pretty close to the first race. So it does reduce the extent to which you can upgrade the car from what we would have historically called the launch spec to the first race spec. That window is now very, very narrow, um, so it reduces the number of parts that fall within scope for an upgrade. So the first aspect is very easy, a new ultra soft tyre which we expect to see in Monaco for the first time. Uh, Monaco has had tyres which generally we felt to be too hard even with the soft and, and, and super soft. So the ultra soft will be hopefully a good tyre for that circuit. In terms of the three compounds per race formula, um, it is a very complicated formula, difficult to explain. Um, the intention is to create more uncertainty in the races. I think the explanations for it um, will come and it will settle down. People will understand how it works. It actually in practice will be a lot simpler than it sounds. Um, I think where we will see uncertainty will be a number of races where the, there is not definitely one choice of tyre compound formula for the, for the race itself and we may see teams taking a gamble and that is uh, intended to produce more variation which was in fact the objective. So I think we'll see some interesting races from that point of view. So this project's been underway uh, for several years to investigate options. Uh, Mercedes have been very, very strong in support of that, coming a lot up with a lot of the concepts that need to be researched. 
So I think the um, motivation is, is becoming stronger to, to reach a set of regulations as soon as possible, hopefully even for 2017, that see a protection put in place that will, uh, will make the racing a lot safer.